Hello there kitties, I'm Kari, the vacuum tube witch. And today it's gonna be a special episode. A, uh, let's say, a meta-narrative episode. Because it's about how I do my channel. And how my setup currently looks. Because uh, there have been uh, a lot of changes over the years. I uh, I got uh, a lot of uh, new gear, and I made a lot of mistakes configuring this and uh, this setup. I had a lot of problems, like video feeds freezing up, mic going dead. <laughs> Very frustrating. But uh, right, uh, right now I've got it pretty much, pretty much working, and I think it's time for me to show you how uh, how it all uh, turned out to be with the infrastructure, with the cameras, all that stuff. <coughs> so uh, let's start by saying that. I recently switched over from Razer Kilo Pro over the bench to a regular Razer Kilo and oh my goodness that thing looks good that thing looks good just take a look and that's with lights off it's uh, it's only the ring light on the camera of course, now, watch your eyes. This is uh, full lighting and adding the, the lamp. Uh, I think I will be changing over to a uh, 6500 uh, 6, k light bulb on, uh, on the lamp. But, uh, oh my goodness, uh, it's a lot sharper than uh, than the previous one. And by the way, this is my prototyping setup. And uh, there is... Uh, there's also the recombobulated uh, test gear cam. Where? That was uh, for the scope, but I uh, I noticed that this cam is a little bit too far away from the scope. I have to digitally zoom it, uh, and uh, it loses definition. So I think I will be working on uh, some different uh, approach, keeping the camera closer to the test gear. Let's get back. So uh, that would be about the, the view from the cameras uh, above the bench. But uh, the most important part that uh, I'm pretty proud of, uh, you may be wondering, since I uh, changed uh, Razer Kio Pro to Razer Kio, then what happened to Razer Kio Pro? See for yourselves! Look at that! <laughs> I got it on my tripod with the longest cable that was originally but for connecting the Re Razer Kio Pro to the USB hub. And let's get a view from that one. With the microphone uh, right here. But I've got another scene with, um, with the bench microphone. I might also add some more scenes uh, 
for for other mic setups to make it more versatile. And what this thing is really good at is that I can move it anywhere in my lab and have a uh, detailed view on whatever project I'm uh, working on uh, away from the bench. I am uh, right now I'm just putting it together. Switch the view. That's the shorter tripod. Are we going for inception? Yes, we are going for inception. So, inception time. Woohoo, we have inception. But what I wanted to show you on the desk, maybe I should do it from a different point of view, but ah, let's leave it as it is. It is this. This is a WaveShare USB hub, two points in. Uh, Two parts in, uh, four parts out. And I wanted to make, uh, make a uh, USB 3.0 bus going uh, from, the, from the stream engine, the, the PC. Uh, we'll take a look at the stream engine real soon. One moment, please. So, this is the stream engine. A rack mount computer. And uh, there's audio discombobulation going on behind it. The power amplifier for the tertiary speaker setup. And my uh, main everyday hi-fi setup uh, on the shelf. And then there's the USB hub that feeds um, the Behringer microphone right here on the desk, the one uh, I am speaking to. And there's a USB 3.0 line together with a power line going all the way to the bench to a hub on the testing speaker right over there. That's the hub. Where originally I wanted to to plug the Kio Pro and uh, I wanted to plug the Kio Pro to that uh, thing and uh, and also the test gear cam and uh, and the second uh, Behringer mic. But there were all kinds of problems with that setup. Like running out of bandwidth, which was very curious and strange, given that uh, the whole line uh, is uh, proper USB 3.0, so uh, adding a uh, 2.0 camera shouldn't uh, 
shouldn't really saturate the bandwidth. Shouldn't. But it did. It was uh, as if the USB 2.0 goes uh, a uh, completely separate track uh, than uh, 3.0. And since the, that was uh, too much congestion on, uh, on the 2.0, because too many devices were plugged in, I ran out of bandwidth. And it didn't want to work like it should. And I had all kinds of problems. Like not being able to use uh, several cameras uh, simultaneously. Or camera feed freezing. Or uh, mic going dead. Like uh, at some point uh, last stream I did uh, like, uh, at the end, uh, viewers uh, told me that um, that they couldn't hear me anymore, and it turned out that the mic, uh, it was the mic that uh, just dropped out and no signal was coming through. Shenanigans. So, hoping for the best, uh, trying to recombobulate the setup, I decided to put the cameras and uh, and the rest of the setup on different USB buses. My uh, my computer, the the stream engine. Uh, oh damn it, kitty! The the stream engine. Let's take a closer look at it. Has. Uh, a single uh, USB 3.0 uh, bus uh, for all the internal and uh, external ports. It has a single uh, 2.0 bus uh, for the internal and uh, external uh, ports uh, separate from USB 3 because uh, USB 3 would be on another bus. The, I mean the the compatibility mode um, 2.0 on the USB 3.0 ports, and uh, I once uh, got a uh, PCI Express uh, USB 3.0 um, controller part. And that thing was a godsend in saving the bandwidth. See, um, I have the main uh, camera, the stream cam. Have I, uh, have I even showed you the stream cam? Mm. Ah, looks like the... Looks like... The Kia Pro temporarily died, but I will try to bring it back online, and it is working. Probably temporary disconnect on the cable. So that's uh, the Logitech stream cam. I had to modify it uh, so that I go t could get uh, good uh, depth of field uh, at uh, at infinity at uh, at a few meters uh, in the background, and I still use it as uh, a uh, fixed uh, focal length camera. I did away with the autofocus. I uh, I don't use uh, on the focus on uh, on this one, so let's get back to the Kio. <coughs> and this would be the stream engine. It's a 
it's a pretty old generation hardware that's uh, that's the second generation uh, core i7 the sandy bridge that's uh, from where i remember uh, it's uh, i7-2800k uh, uh, but I'm not sure let's uh, let's uh, SSH into this thing Yeah, this is i7 2600K. Just checked. With some nice cooler. Corsair power supply. That makes uh, a little bit too much noise, and I think I will have to work on this thing. A Radeon uh, RX uh, 580 graphics card. Three old school HDDs and two SSDs. And that would be it for the main computer. Look, mom, a computer. And let's move to the bench to show you the camera setup above it. Let's lower the, the tripod anyway. And that is how I do it. The Logitech uh, C9, uh, C9 uh, 30E, I also had to modify it. Uh, to change the focal length because it was extremely short uh, in the original. The Berger C1U and the Razer Kio Pro. And the infrastructure the Cipolar. 7 port industrial uh, USB 3.0 hub but I mentioned that uh, I tried uh, connecting too many cameras to it and it uh, caused uh, a lot of freezing and that is what temporarily solved the problem for me. This is the old uh, USB 2.0 hub that uh, has a line going directly to the stream engine. And uh, there's a uh, external power supply for this hub. Right over there. It's a temporary setup. But I think that I, uh, I will uh, come up with a more elegant solution than the bench uh, peak was a little bit unintentional. <laughs> wow. <coughs> so, I could uh, make a video of a uh, 
pretty detailed um, lab walkthrough talking about uh, different um, different aspects uh, of what I have here. Then the test gear, the record collection right over there. All kinds of stuff. And may maybe even uh, work on some projects out of the band. Because I, uh, I feel like I am going to get back to the Semtron project. But uh, Semtron is a typical bench project, but uh, Selectric on the other hand... Selectric... Might be a uh, out of bench one. It's waiting on the table. Waiting till I repair it. So that was for a quick update on how I do things here. And also uh, why there was no videos for a long time even though I have come back to the lab. And by the way, there may be a stream coming up after Big Clive on the weekend. Stay tuned. See ya. Bye.